Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Todd Boogie. Hey, man, look, your boy is back in the building. I got some good eats today. I ain't even going to lie. Your boy got some, um, I've been really fat lately. I don't know what's going on with me. Like, yo, I ordered from Applebee's, some Uber Eats. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. I don't mean to, you feel me? I don't mean to show off or nothing, but I got the double rack ribs. I'm excited for this. Now I mean we chilling. Grab your grab your popcorn, cause we we got a good little video today. We gonna be damn, my mouth is watering. We gonna be reacting to episode one of Grilling. Um, it's basically where like the girl, she um, she just grills the dudes or whatever, or you could say vice versa. They're trying to see if they want to be together, type of thing, whatever. It's like a little date. But um, anyways, if you're a new viewer, please hit that like button. It helps your boy out in the algorithm a whole lot. Also, hit the subscribe button if you're a new viewer, all right? Yo, we ain't going to waste too much time. Let me make sure this is recording because I cannot afford, okay, because this video is long. You know what I mean? This video is mad long. It's 30 minutes. All right, we're just going to get into this. You're not dominant. I'll slap you now if you want. Slap me. Yo, would you slap you? Slap me. Would you actually let me slap you? Let me see how hot you are. Go on, slap me. Slap me. Slap me. Slap me. Hi, I'm Sean Reynolds and I'm still on the lookout. I've had some good dates. I'm liking my views, like, do you know what I'm saying? It's all uh, good right uh, now. Ah, charm, aren't you? And I've had some bad dates. How do you think you've done on the date? I don't really give a shit, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Where shit. are all the decent men? Not in my DMs, that's for sure. Yeah, you get me, I feel like I'm rolling with the man then. What's going on? Bye, fives! It seems like a lot of men don't know how to treat a lady. I'll just manhandle everything. You just gotta put in a chest and chest and man. that, like, jeez. Will I have better luck this season? What would you do if. Right, let's, see. let's do this, man, let's go. Come on. <laughs> Damn, yo. I don't know. I'm trying to get comfortable. No, you gotta get comfortable before you eat. All my food lovers on right. Hello. Are you okay? I'm good, How are you? I'm good, thank you. What's your name? Moses. Moses, nice to meet you. You too. What's your name? Cheyenne. Nice to meet you too. Where are you from? London, Leicester, Nigeria, everywhere. Everywhere. Where are you from? Um, I live in Essex and my family are Caribbean. I feel like you're a bit shy right now. I don't know why. You think I'm shy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm good, I'm good. Right, you give me a bit of shy vibes. I don't know whether she thinks I'm about to deal with her, but the way she's giving me the looks, like she can't even look in my eyes. I'm shy. He's the shy one. I think you're giving me shy vibes. Why? Oh. I don't know, just the way you come in, your energy is very like... That's how I am. I'm just calm, I'm just chilled. Tell me a bit about you. I'm a business owner, got a few businesses. I'm a YouTuber, I'm a model. There's a lot of... Yo, that's an early like call on your bluff, like... When people try to call you shy, like, they really trying to, like, put you beneath them real quick. Like, now I mean, anytime somebody try to call you shy and you know you're not shy, even if you are shy, don't admit to it. You know what I mean? Because that automatically puts somebody above you. You know what I mean? Just, nah, that's just like how he did. Nah, that's just how I am. I'm just chilling. You feel me? You seem shy. You feel me? Like... Things, isn't it? What's all this about? Like, what are you doing, house? I'm just trying to find a man that I can take serious. I don't feel like you're trying to find a man you can take serious though, like... Why? How long have you been single for? For a few years. What's a few years? Like, three years. So you've been single for three years? Yeah. So, do you think it's your fault or the guy's? No, it's not anyone's fault. Great. It's just by choice. Great question. What kind of choice? That's got nothing to do with me, innit? If you're single for three years, the issue's clearly you, not me. It's not as to do with the guys. It's all you still. Mine, I'm big on doing personal development and working on myself. So, you know, people preach about being a good woman, yeah. but you have to internally do the work. But how long is that going to take, though? Well, it took me three years. But it's still going on. So it can be four, five years, six, five years. <laughs> yeah, well, three years single. Okay, so are you ready to be in a relationship now? Yeah, that's why I'm doing Grenin. So you're looking for right now? Too. Yeah. Why are you laughing? I don't know. I'm, like, if I tell you I'm going to marry you right now, what are you saying? Are you going to get married? No. Why? Why would I marry you right now? Because this is what we're here for. You're not gonna yeah, I'm here for marriage with the right man. Yeah, how do you know I'm not the right man? I don't know, your attitude's a bit... My attitude is calm. Yeah, it's calm, but you seem a bit sure of yourself. I'm just saying, if you're looking for love, then I can give that, I can give that to you. You can give me love. You seem a bit sure of yourself. How do you tell a man he seems a bit sure of you? You should be seem sure of yourself. What do you mean? <laughs> you just said that the man seems nervous. 
Now he seems sure of himself. Like, I want y'all to really listen to, like, the games that are being played in dating. Like, and it's not just one side. It's not just her. He he playing some games, too, you know what I mean? But it's like, she just said two different things. I don't know. Let's get back to Yes. You sure? What else do you want? Stability, loyalty, honesty. Mm, respectful. Can you tick those boxes? I can tick a lot more than that. Really, mm. what can you tick? So many other things, but I just feel like you just stated the basic things. Seems a bit full of it. W response. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. You know. Those are things that all guys would just say they have. A lot of guys have stability. A lot of guys claim they're loyal even though they're not. Yeah, exactly. Mm. This is this is the problem. A lot of people are talkers. Actions aren't always congruent with what you're what you say you are. So you like actions? Yeah. What kind of actions do you like? <laughs> people just honouring their words. Oh, okay. So not that, not any other type of actions. Like what? I don't know. I just, I just feel. No, like, go on. I just feel you had other actions in mind. No, what, do you, what do you mean by actions? Back down. You said you like actions, not words. My love language is just thought. Not physical touch. Yo, look. If you yeah. ev- if you ever like jump on the like you jump off the boat like that, and you say something crazy like, oh, I thought you like like action. I'm like, oh, I thought you were talking about other actions. Kind of got to let her know, like, nah, I'm talking about, you know, physical actions. Like, don't play stupid. Like, flip it back on her, because now he was looking all awkward and stuff. Like, oh, I don't know what to say now. Nah, you brought it up. Be a man of of your word. I mean, speak on what you're talking about. (laughs) Or flip it back on her. Like, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? And then you can switch the subject. Oh, you have physical touch? Yeah. Oh, so you do like that kind of action? Yeah, but not sex. I think he said, no one said sex. I didn't even say... Tell me about your sex life. It's great. It's fantastic. Um, but everyone says their, their sex life is great and fantastic. But I feel like mine's actually all right. Why is it all right? I get the job done. What do you mean you get the job done? Sex is a mission at the end of the day. You begin it and you end it. Okay. I start the mission well and I complete it. Mission completed. So I get the job done. So you're saying women is like just a task? No one said that. Yeah, but you're I, saying it's a I mission. It's a mission. It's mission. It's a really weird way to talk about sex. Sex itself, not women. You read it into it too hard. Mission. So do you have meaning in the sex? No. I don't know. The way you've like said it's a mission. I've had meaning in the sex though. You have. Yeah. All have the time. You, have you not? No, I can't do meaning in the sex. You probably had that before. No, no, I really can't do it. What's your oh, body God. count? My body count. Yeah. Mm. It's only me and you here, so I couldn't be asking anyone else. I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, why? That's crazy. It's not ready now. I might tell you in a bit. When a girl doesn't give you a body count, her body count is high. Forget about <laughs> it. As soon as they tell you, mm, I don't want to tell you, their body count is high. I, know, I already know for I a fact their body count probably somewhere around like un, un- 42, 43, 44, and 4. Girl, sorry, that's high. Okay. What's your body count? If that. you didn't tell me, what makes you think I'm going to tell you? If you might, mm-hmm. lead by example. No, nah, I don't want to. You Why? Me yours. Anyways, judging by you not telling mm. me your answer, I feel like your body count is probably something high, innit? Like high? What's high? Probably like 14. 14 is high. I think 14 is a good number. Yeah, no. No, it is. It's like, it depends on who you are, innit? Some people, some people 14 is really nah, in Atlanta. High. Some people 14 is low. So you've slept with 14 people? Let me tell you something. In Atlanta, I got barbecue shorts on my lips, I already know. In Atlanta, 14 is not high. In Atlanta. Now, I mean, I don't know what, what town you live in. If everybody know each other and they got 14, that's crazy. But in Atlanta, 14 ain't high. It's less. It's close though. 14. You can keep guessing, innit? I'm not gonna say it. Innit? Why? But it's very close. It's, it's not. It's nothing mm-hmm. crazy, innit? But I don't know it's what crazy is. I feel like for a guy, crazy is above 30. But I'm not. I'm not at that level still. Like I said, my sex they, they mean a lot. No, but it's not a mission. You it's can't a, say mission. It's a mission. Let me tell you why it's a mission, yeah. When you have sex, is there no an outcome? You yeah. Know? That's the end of the mission. When you get the outcome, you're not done. Yeah, but you can't. Mission just sounds so like. It's you, it's just a term I'm giving it. You get what Bad I mean. Word. You don't need to listen. You don't need to be perfect with me. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna judge you in it. It's a mission. You ain't completing this mission, mate. So do you enjoy your mission? That's why you yeah, single. I love it mm-hmm. still. You drag what do you it. love about it? It makes me feel like a man, especially when I finish the mission, which is the most important part. I just feel like I've accomplished something that day. Would you say you come quick? Do you mean? Do if she's saying she don't like the word mission, bro, use a different word. You know what I mean? But now you're making her uncomfortable. It's like you're trying to talk about something and get her to, like, think spicy with you, but you're using a word that's annoying her. My hands is mad dirty and I'm over here talking. It's crazy. Do I finish the mission quickly? It depends. It depends on the mood. If I'm not feeling it, then um, I guess it can be a quick thing. But I just don't do it. Why would I not do it? If you're not feeling... No, I mean, like, if it's not, if I'm not excited about it, do you do, you do foreplay? Yeah. That's to get in the mood, right? 
Sometimes you can naturally be in the mood from as soon as you enter. Remove mm -hmm. all these cameras and, and lights. If I just saw you here, I'd probably be in the mood naturally. Mm. Yeah. You can. What do you mean? It's a guy thing, isn't it? Well, I don't but, know. I'm not a guy, so explain. As a guy, sometimes you see a girl and immediately you're like, yeah, I'd give it to her. Like, I'd, 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 I'd lay it on her. So if we was to go straight to the bed right now, I don't need to think about giving it to you because I've already thought about it anyways. But sometimes <laughs> you need to get to that mood. Like you said, you do foreplay at times, yeah, which means you've had horrible sex, by the way, because you have to What do you mean horrible sex? Firstly, like, foreplay is so important to be intimate with someone. You can't just, like, put your dick in, Back. like a dry vagina. Why? Why? Why can't you just do that? What do you mean, why, why? can't you just why? do that? Why, why can't you just get straight into it? Can't always I don't do know that, if you're bro. being serious or not. I'm being serious. Like, why can't so you, you think that you can just have sex just straight off the back, put your dick inside someone else's vagina? I think, yeah, I think, yeah, that I can have, I can text a girl, we can have dirty text, we can link up from as soon as I open that door into the bedroom, we're both ready to have sex. I think that's possible. It happens. That's possible, but that's not like with a woman. Yeah, you was texting spicy. When you see her, it could be a whole different vibe. You got to set the tone. You got to set the vibe. You got to come off a certain type of way. You can't be texting spicy, be goofy in person, and then expect the cheeks. It's not happening. <laughs> it's just not happening like that. Like, women like foreplay. Women got to get ready. Women like to be stimulated mentally. You know what I mean? And then you could, you know what I mean? <laughs> Shebang, bang. Maybe it's a it's a young wild thing, um, you know, I'm not calling you old or anything, but it happens. Like I feel like people that get into the whole foreplay and having to bring out the sexual side, you're just you're 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 bringing it out, you're dragging it out. No, I just, I just feel like from okay. that, that just means you have no game, you don't know how That's to actually got touch. No, game. it's like how to touch and deal with a woman. He has right. no game. Well, she's trying to get the grilling out of me. Relax. I'm the one doing the grilling here today. It's not your show anymore. It's mine. She's doing too much, trying to get onto me, trying to ask me questions, make me start. It's not happening today. It's all me. I'm in control. I'm the dominant guy today. Leave it out, darling. Come on. <laughs> Listen, you can be a thrill seeker. You can easily, like, if it's quick thrill, probably put your dick in if you're both excited. No, it but need to, it but to, to think that you can just have sex so easily without foreplay. You can do. Yeah, you can, but it's the way you're wording it is as if it's no, just you, like, it, oh, it's really not important. Like, I didn't say it's not it's, no one said no, but it's that's not how it sounds. Uh, it, can sound, it can sound like I'm singing a song. What I said was, mm -hmm. you can have sex without the foreplay. Okay, okay, what are you doing? Yeah, well, exactly. I do it and you don't do it. So, so is it because you don't know how to? It's because I know how to you stay have the sex without foreplay. There's ways. But to... can you do foreplay? Yeah, of course. Really? Of course, I've done, it's not, I'm not saying I've not done it, I've had to do it, do you get what I'm saying? Because like I said, there's times where... You make it sound like a chore. You said it's a chore. No, it's just the way you're saying it. Like I said, no game. I'm not going to lie, that's one thing I do not like though. You hear what I'm saying. It ain't like I'm saying it like something. I'm saying what I'm saying, you know what I mean? When people use that, oh, but it's like you're saying it like this, but is that what I said? You feel me? No, that's not. But and if I tell you, no, that's not what I'm saying though. Like I, I understand you. She done said it like three times. I understand you saying that it's like a, I'm coming off like it's a chore. But if I don't say that that's not the case, stop jacking that. Like stop dragging that. You know what I mean? Like listen to my words. I might just be coming off like this, but that's not what I'm trying to say. Now hear my message. That to me, that's manipulation when when people do that. It's like you're coming off like what? Sometimes it can be more. It can make it more fun. It can make it more exciting. But like I said, the outcome is the outcome. You're doing the full play. You're doing the mission just to get the outcome. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So if there's a quicker way to get the outcome for both of us, why not? Because the whole point of sex is like an intimate thing. It's not about doing it quick. Yeah. It's about doing it right so you both feel good. Full play. Right. Yeah. Leads to you doing it. Right. How about you just start from doing it? Nah, you can't always, it don't work like that. What are you confused about? No, I'm not confused. I, I just can't believe that's coming out your mouth. But, are you but having, anyway. Okay, yeah. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you so. Do you eat pussy then? She's bare in though in terms of licking girls out. Listen, if she wants me to lick her out, she could just ask. It's not a big deal. I eat pussy. Oh, you do? No. Yeah. Do you eat pussy? Do you eat pussy? Do you Yo. Not a big deal. <laughs> I was just about to say, yo, look at her face when he said, yeah, I do. She just lit up. Look, hold up. Hold up. Dude, I eat pussy. Oh, you 
day. Her whole face just lit up. This man was, so he was in his bag for a second. Listen to his response. Do you eat pussy? Do you, do you eat pussy? Why would you ask her that? Why do you, look at her face now. <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> What was, bro, you was just in your bag. You had her. Now you explain, like, now I mean, why you like it. Now she can imagine you doing it. But you just sold asking a stupid question. Do you? What? I hope I ain't got nothing in my teeth while I'm over here. You feel me? Do you eat pussy? See what I mean? I'm, you're asking me. I'm giving you, I'm telling you yes. Do you, I feel like you eat pussy. Why? Now you're giving you tend, you love that question so much. Yeah, I like, I like asking men that question. Yeah, well, I, I like asking it? women that question. Do you eat pussy? Why do you like asking women that do you question? Eat pussy? Yeah, she eats pussy. She eats she pussy. Like you, it, bro. From as soon as I asked her the question, and she was like, eh, she eats pussy. You don't, you don't start on questions like that. I looked at her, I was like, Wait. do you eat pussy? And she was like, eh. <laughs> do, you, do, you know, do you eat pussy, yes or no? No. You don't eat pussy. What else do you eat? Food. And What else breakfast. do you eat? Yes. It's crazy. How y'all go from do you eat pussy to what do what else do you eat? Food. It's like you was going all the way up here and you brought she brought you all the way up here. Like this is where she wanna go with the conversation, you brought her all the way back down here. Stupid. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch and dinner. Sausage. Do you eat sausage? Yeah. Sausage. Ah, cool, so you eat sausage. That's cool. As long as you eat sausage. When was the last time you cried? I don't remember, you know. What do you mean? Like, it's that long? It's probably it's primary school. What? Yeah. I don't know why that's a big deal. I don't know why you're screaming like I stole your money. No, because that is a big deal. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. Why should, I don't get it. Why is that a big deal? Because I just feel like men, you're so like desensitised to any sort of emotional feeling. That... I feel like you can be emotional, but you don't need to cry. Do you feel mm -hmm. emotion? Yeah, yeah. Like, so like, what, so what do you do? Like, how do you process being sad <laughs> as, a, as a man that doesn't cry? I think about what's making me sad. Wait, what? I have time alone. I Man. What did she say? Yeah, yeah. How do you so, like, what, so what do you do, like, how do you process being sad as a, as a man oh, that doesn't cry? I think about what's making me sad. I have time alone. I just feel bad. Or I just feel like in a certain way. But for the tears to come out of my eyes, you don't understand, that requires so much movement. Like, that's, that's like, I don't know, it's a lot. Yeah, but don't you think it's good to do that because it's a release? No, no, no. Of course you need to cry. What the hell is he on about? But if he don't so cry, then he one don't day, cry. like you might just like hold it in and build up because so, men's mental health like is a really serious issue, yeah. and I find that because men aren't you know in tune with their emotions in that way, this is why like the male suicide rate is so high because men don't know how to process emotions. Okay, let me say something on that real quick. I like this. I, I got my I got my my barbecue. You know what I mean? B -b -b barbecue baby back ribs. This is a good little episode. Let me speak on this real quick. A lot of people say this whole men need to, you know, articulate their feelings. Men need to, you know, wear their feelings. You know, um, men's mental health and it's, you're not a grown man if you don't cry. Okay. But when a man shows these emotions in front of people, the respect level goes down. You know what I mean? And it's just something that innately just happens because we've been trained to understand that a man doesn't cry. You know what I mean? Do I believe that a man should cry and get it out? Yes, definitely. But you have to really understand show, how, how much emotion to show in front of people. You know what I mean? Because a woman could sit here and say what she just said, like, no, you, yeah, you know, mental health and stuff like that. But if he starts crying in front of her consistently more than she does, She's going to lose respect for him. She's going to feel like he's a weak man. You know what I mean? So this, this is one of those instances where her words sound good, but in all actuality, no, you would, you would lose respect for him if this man just kept crying. You know what I mean? If he, if he didn't have one of those minds where he just figures it out. You know, he, he puts things into perspective and figures it out. I've seen it. What are you talking about? Why is she asking me her questions, man? Leave it out. This is what I'm saying. This is the problem. What are you talking about? You don't need to cry for you to not... What are you... Come on, man. It's not come on, man. That's, like, that's just too far. You don't... You've literally linked crying to suicide. Yeah. No. You have to nip it from the bud. Like, for if we started early teaching men how to, to cry, be... how to cry. Yeah. How you're teaching men how to cry. How to feel. How hey to guys, feel emotion. if you feel sad, cry. It helps. 
Crying doesn't no. help. Yes, when you're no. a little boy uh -huh. and you fall over, say you're running a race, you have a sister, you both fall over. Yeah. It's okay for your sister to cry, but you've got to man up. Don't cry. Do you not think that's going to have an impact as you grow older in your life and you're going yeah. to carry that with you? It, have, it has, a, it has kind of a effect. positive impact. Let me finish. Positive? Yeah. You need sometimes to just take some things in the chin. I, th I feel like when it then gets to like proper, deep, like, issues, for example, you know, you're going for a heartbreak. You don't have to cry to solve it. Why do you have to cry? I'm not saying it's going to solve it, but I'm saying like it's concerning when there's such an emotional block because heartbreak, that's a, a reason to cry. Have you ever had a heartbreak? Yeah. Wow, Very quick. I'm so sorry about that. Um, mm. Have you? Have you have you ever experienced no, anything that's going to make you? Really? Have you ever been in love? I think so. No. So, <laughs> listen, you, heartbreak, so. Yeah, when you're in love, heartbreak is hard. You know, I don't want to get into that topic with you because I feel like you might start crying and that might help you. So when you had a heartbreak, did you cry? Yeah, of course I did. How many times did you cry? A good few. The first time you cried, it didn't help? No, it did. A good cry helped. Well, you cried again. So it didn't help the first, second or third time. <laughs> it it does. It helps the way you feel. Not really. As a mm -hmm. guy, instead of you crying, you just take one in the chin and you move on with your life. It, it yeah, but helps. You but this is what I'm saying. It's great that you think like that, but later down the line, there comes to a point in men's lives when you can't keep taking it on the chin. Like, then, 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 you cry, then, then you cry, then you cry. That's yeah. when you cry. Okay. I, I've never said exactly. you should never cry. You asked me if I ever cried, I said no, but you No, but it. I was just saying. Yeah, yeah, eventually you end up crying, innit? <laughs> yeah, but at that point you'll explode. You don't want to want to be exploding later on. You get on, a lot right? of women. <laughs> Can I ask what do you think? Yeah, I think you get a lot of women. I don't. You don't? No. Really? Why? Because I'm very reserved. I don't put myself out there for the women. Oh, so you want a woman coming to you? That's no, That's I'm just man. not actively available. I feel like I'm too busy, like I've got a lot of things going on in my life. There's a perfect time for you to find a woman for you to be in love. You get a lot of guys there, I can tell. I think all women do. Men always try their luck. That don't mean all women get a lot of guys. Right. I think, yeah, but we I, have, I think women have the upper hand. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. men are always trying to pursue women. Yeah, you lot are the praise and what the predators. Do you have any fetishes? I like my hair being scratched. Nothing weird though, like, I'm not really into the toe stuffs. Why would you what? say it's weird? Because it... Your toe fetish, Marty. Yeah, no, but it's not even that, like, it's not just, weird. It's just what people put like. Put your socks on and wear your shoes or just wear your heels. Why must the toes be touched? And me personally, I feel like the toes is probably one of the dirtiest part of the body. Do you like guys sucking your toes? I like a foot massage. Do you like guys sucking your toes? Would you like me to suck your toes? No, suck I like toes. massages. Mm. You, don't want, you don't want me to suck your toes? No, I don't know. It depends. Yeah. Bring them out, suck them. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it out. I'm a See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, he brought it up and then he, he made it personal. Would you like me to do it? You feel me? Um, you see how she responded? I mean, I don't know. She ain't say no. She ain't say no. Open mm -hmm. to experiment and try new things. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's one thing about me. So, even if I tell you I don't like this, I don't like that, you can probably convince me to try. So, you're adventurous? Yeah. Moses, your real name? Literally Moses. My gov, Moses. The LDN was just added because, you know, from London, innit? But, um, yeah, I'm not one of those guys that changes their name to, you know, Kills or Reeks or... That's just Moses, innit? That's my gov. Do you have any um, red flags? I always have the last word. So you're argumentative? I'm not argumentative, but I will petty. have the last word. It's so your petty. Mm. Petty. Yeah. Yeah. But would you, would you rather me lie to you? No. Petty, hey, no, I want a man. Not on this childish games. Oh. I don't like a woman that jumps to conclusion. I hate that so much. Mm. Like, I've just told you what's happened and you've linked it to doing something else. I don't like that. Would you say you're an honest man? Yeah, I'm, I'm very honest. I don't really beat around the bush. I, I got my headphones on. I'm about to go wash my hands and brush this barbecue sauce out of my teeth. Yeah, I keep watching the video. I can still hear the video. So I'm still with you, alright? As a person, I'm very patterned. What makes you a patterned guy? I feel like I've got a lot of things in place. I've got a good business around me. I've got good friends around me, a good family around me. I'm very focused. I'm not out here in the streets doing rubbish. I know what I want. My goals and plans are set and I am reaching towards that and it will happen. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I, I can't tell you defects because I know for a fact I'm working towards what I need to get. So that's why I'm very much patterned. Nice, what do you want? Um, you. <laughs> All right, okay. A few little giggles there. He's a bit funny. That's funny. What do you want? I want you. Do you? Yeah. Can I have you? Mm. Oh, 
That's your loss, isn't it? My loss? Why is it my loss? Because you're, you're going to end up getting a guy that's not patterned. Just like you, I'm a very focused person. Mm. I know what I want and I know what I need to do to get it. So I'm not going to end up with just some waste man. So I'm a waste man? I didn't say you was a waste man. That's your words, not mine. I'm not saying you Okay, are. so why don't you want me? Why? Why don't I want you? Yeah, why? Not feeling it at the moment. Am I not your type? I don't really have a type. So why don't you want On me? paper, you probably would be. Well, put it on paper then. <laughs> put it on paper. You're laughing, you're smiling, you're grinning. Like, what's, what's wrong? I don't know, Joe, like, I'm just waiting for the little vibe. Hold the vibe is there. Hold up, 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 hold up. Yo, I heard a lot while I was going. I mean, I told you I had my headphones still on. My man, one thing you never do, you never ask. Hold on, hold on, let's go back. Just a little bit. Mm. I know what I want and I know what I need to do to get it. So I'm not going to end up with just some waste man. So I'm a waste man? Didn't say you was a waste man. That's your words, not mine. I'm not saying you okay, are. So why don't you want me? Why? Why don't I want you? Why don't you want me is crazy. I'm not going to lie. Listen, always assume she wants you. Now, I mean, just assume that she wants you. You'll come off more masculine. Now, if, if she got you on a date, assume she wants you. Now, I mean, even if it's a, like, just, if, when you question, why don't you want me, it's like you're looking for validation. Women do not like men that look for validation. They don't. They're turned off by it. On the surface, they might say, oh, no, it's cute, or whatever, but I'm going to tell you right now, that's not true. Women react better when you don't react, when you don't um, um, look for validation. Why don't you want me? What you mean, why don't I want you? Like, you should think that I do. You feel me? Like, what makes you think I don't? She did. I heard hear it. She never said that she didn't. She just never validated, like, exactly what she was asking. Yeah, yeah why? Not feeling it at the moment. Am I not your type? I don't really have a type. Not, so why don't you want On me? paper, you probably not, would not be. Feeling. Well, put it on paper then. Put it on paper. <laughs> <laughs> put it on paper. Oh, <laughs> you're fun. laughing, you're smiling, you're grinning. Like, what's, yeah. what's wrong? So no, Joe, like, I'm just waiting for the little vibe. The vibe is there, I just made you laugh, like... No, you can't just make someone laugh and then think that's a vibe. Can you dance? Yeah. Can you do salsa? I've never tried salsa, you know. Uh, Can you? Yeah. yeah. Gonna try it right now. <laughs> Define love. Love is Yo, where you're willing to dance. That was mad awkward. That was mad awkward. Oh, love. <laughs> Hold up, let's go back to that little face. I've never tried salsa, you know. Uh, Can you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm in place, Gonna bro. try it right now. <laughs> Define love. <laughs> love is when you're willing to die for someone. Yeah. I'll die for you. Die for me? Oh, he's dragging it. What if I'm a bitch? Then I'll still die for I'll die for a bitch. When did you last have sex? Yo, see, like, he's trying to come across as, like, everything I say is the right thing. Like, early on, you was on some, like, like, nah, what I said is what I said. Now you're on some, like, you're trying to be on your Mac Daddy, which is exposing how you really think. And you talking about, what if you die for a bitch? Now you look soft, because it's like, what? Who just... Why are you telling her you're going to die for her? You don't even know her. When women hear these type of... When they hear these type of things, you sound like any other dude that's just thirsty. And you have no morals. Like, I mean, clearly he's playing or whatever. Or maybe he's not. But that level of game is like, bro, what do you expect her to say to that? Oh, that's so cute. You would die for me. She know you ain't, you ain't serious. So it's like, let that go. You know what I mean? That whole little thing you just try to do... I mean, look at me when you say it. I feel thinking, like you're trying to think thing. of a lie. I had sex three days ago. Was it meaningless or was it? Yeah, it was meaningful. Did she enjoy herself? Yeah. Who comes first? Even if it's me, she still comes. It doesn't even matter. Mm. Are you sure? As long as you get the job done. Do you want to apply for the job? I've got a few vacancies here. Mm. Do I want to apply for the job? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you want a job, innit? Come work for me, man. You need the Don't job. Ask she doesn't want to work here. It's a big opportunity, man. Come make the money. Yeah. I will not be applying for the job. Don't you worry. For you, I can make you manage your shit away. When was the last time you had sex? You're not going to tell me, are you? No, it was a very long time ago. Two weeks? No, like months. Probably six. Do you miss it? No, I've, I'm at this stage where, because I've not been doing it, I'm over it. So you don't even think about it? No. I'm it's so funny to me how, like, a dude will be straight up honest. Like, oh yeah, a couple of days ago. Women swear that the last time, and, and I, women I ain't got nothing against y'all. But y'all be swearing it was years ago, it was months ago that was the last time y'all had sex. Okay, so we haven't sex three days ago. 
But now every time we ask y'all, y'all had sex six months ago. Who the hell are we having sex with? <laughs> you had sex three days ago too. <laughs> I'm doing this year, no sex. This whole year? Yeah, 2022. <laughs> Even if this day goes well, yeah. It, it can't happen. What do you mean? Because how are we going to have sex? Is sex really important to you? It's not really important, but it's, it's needed. Yeah, of course it's needed, but... Don't you want to have sex? Like It's not that I don't. I find men are quite a distraction. Come on, what does she mean she doesn't want to have sex? I'll be honest, she doesn't want to have sex. She's just acting up. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, I just feel like I'm not feeling it anymore. You gotta give head, like come on man, that's just that's wait, whack. Wait, wait, I can't wait. I can't speak what? to a girl that's not willing to give head. Especially if she wants me to be giving you come on! Yeah, nah. That's pathetic. Why? Why are you not giving head? You wanna have great sex. Yeah. Like, you claim what was the voice earlier? Yeah. You need to have foreplay. <laughs> but you don't wanna give head. Head is part of foreplay. Alright, I see yeah. yeah on, but man. only if you're my man. I'm your man. Yo, see, yo, that's so funny, bro. Like, they really be trying to, like, stay away from, like, looking a certain type of way. Giving head is, is a, that's for adults. Like, I'm not going to judge you because you say yes. That don't mean you give a head at, at the subway. You feel me? Like, do you want to be my man? I'm already your man. Oh, is that so? I'm letting you process it. Oh, Ooh, my boy, move. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm stealing that. <laughs> Yo, he, he's quick on the feet too. He's quick. Hold up. Do you want to be my man? I'm already your man. Oh, is that so? I'm just letting you process it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look. Okay, I fancy him a little bit. Wait, wait, wait. What'd you say? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Paul Pooley. Yeah. All right. It's a yeah, is bad. but only if you're my man. I'm your man. Do you want to be my man? I'm already your man. Oh, is that so? I'm just letting you process it. Oh, okay. Uh. Okay, I fancy him a little bit. I don't know what she said, but it looked like she, she fucking with him. Are you? Mm. What would you do to be so dominant? First of all, we both can't be dominant. Alright, so but pick up no then. No, no, you, you stop it. 99.9% .9 of girls, their favourite position is missionary. Is that yours? Yes. Well then, what are you talking about? How are you dominant in bed? I'm right. on top. Of missionary? missionary. Yeah. Then that's right. not missionary. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. What have you been watching, bro? Cartoon Missionary is the same, isn't it? No, no. Are you giving me strikes on top? Yeah, that's missionary. N no, darling, no, no. Let me do the job. You just lay down there and act cute. I did a mission. You did it airy. Simple, done. Missionary, missionary is a guy on top on giving back. strikes. That's it, full stop. Oh. Do you not think I am? Do you do the choking? Do you do the slapping? What, I'll what? slap you. I can violate you if you want. Should we do a little battle with the dominance? There's no, it's not a battle. I already won. I will slap you if you want. Dad, I don't want you to slap me. You should want to slap me if you're dominant. He actually wants me to slap him. You're not dominant. I'll slap you now if you want. Slap me. <laughs> Do you want me to slap you? Slap me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you actually let me slap yeah, you? Slap me. Let me see how hot you are. Go on, slap me. <laughs> <laughs> slap me. Okay, now wash my hands. <laughs> yeah, you really bad. Wait, it. can you bring your face? Like a little, little one. That was all right. It wasn't that sexy, though. Well. It's supposed to be a sexy slap. No, no, no. This is the thing. When you're, when you're being dominant, you're not trying to be sexy. Like you're dominating. That was a dead slap, man. I felt like a hug. Like, man. <laughs> Yo, see, like, if you know, you know, he's in his bag now. Like, just to get her to be, like, physical like that, like, that breaks that little touch barrier, even though it was a smack. You <laughs> know what I mean? He broke that touch barrier. You know what I mean? So, like, he's already a little bit closer to it now. And now we on that, that play fighting basis. You know, like, nah, maybe you smack me, now I'm going to grab you up. I mean, we're going to wrestle a little bit. That's why people wrestle like that, to kill that touch barrier. Because once you get into my space now, okay, now we we do that now. You feel me? So, hey, my saying he a little smooth. He, he took a couple L's in this, like, but he, he kind of smooth. What the, uh, do you eat pussy? What? What? <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, no, I don't know. No, yeah, when, when like, you dominate. Ah, oh, you like that? That's not... Die, bitch. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> when you're a submissive man yeah. and you're like a little slave or something, yeah, then it's a completely different way of You're not dominance. dominant, man. Just leave it out. You don't become dominant. You're just not dominant. So you are just there saying, oh my God, be careful, ow. That's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Stop it, you're not dominant. Why don't you strangle me then? Yeah, come. Go on, show me how you would dominate me and strangle See? me. See, I told you, he broke the touch barrier. Now she's asking him to strangle me. Show me how you... What? 
game time. Like, what? You're not, a girl's not going to ask a dude to touch her if she's not feeling him. It don't matter, matter if you're attractive, not attractive. Like, bro, she's not feeling you. She's not going to invite you into her space. She just did. I'll tell you if it's like a good strangle. Come with one. It's yeah. quite an alright one. It's not alright. You you right. you even if it was amazing, you was always going to say alright. Nah, You're still you thinking like about it, aren't you? Oh, yeah, calm down. It's okay. Calm can, down. Ah, yeah. I'm trying to get some more. Oh, yeah, yeah, calm down. It was amazing, you was always going to say alright. You're right still now. thinking about it, aren't you? Oh, yeah, calm down. It's okay. Calm down. Relax, relax. I can try and give you some more. Yeah. Like, She's mad funny because, like, I know girls like her. She's trying to, like, keep this composure that, like, she's, like, ahead of him. I mean, she's here and he's down here. But he got, he's in his bag right now. You feel me? Look at him. <laughs> Bless you. He got the grab. That's what it is. It's the grab, man. You got <laughs> Yeah, she's blushing. I knew you were going to say, oh. That's it? I was actually being honest. Do you what? Do you fancy each other? I know you're gonna say oh. That's it? I was just being honest. Mm. Yeah, you're attractive. Like oh, do you think <clears throat> you wouldn't? Do you know what? It's not yeah, a lot of questions on the what do you say if I'm just <clears throat> You wouldn't. Do you know what? It's not an issue if you say yes. But me personally, for like the exes that I've had, I can't be friends with them. Maybe in the future, if I have a good ex, you get what I'm saying, but the exes that I've had, I can't be friends with them. I've never See, my man is, he already, you see how him playing around in the beginning, it's so funny how it works, because with him staying, like, in the lane of, like, I'm not trying to say everything right in the beginning, it seemed like, oh, no, nah, this is, like, he's, you know, he's, he's, he's throwing it out, you know, but being that he stayed firm where he believes in, she kind of played into his, the man that he is, you know what I mean, and kind of started to gravitate towards that. When he started talking that, why don't you like me? It kind of threw off everything. And if you if you rewind it, like it was like they had to constantly like twist the subject. Like it's just funny how it works because she just called him attractive. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, we playing this back and forth. You acting like you want me to agree with everything you say, but you find me attractive though. You know what I mean? Even though I don't. You feel me? Or maybe she's talking physical. Who knows? I had a bad breakup. Okay. So like we've always been on good terms and just the way I see life, like it'll be a shame for someone I've shared just life with yeah. for it'd be a shame to walk past them in the street and have like bad blood with them. Okay, but it's not like you're still texting them and linking up with No, them. I'd I'd link up with one of my exes, like every few years, like we'll we'll hang out, but nah, it's that's crazy. it. Why, Why are you guys linking up? Because we're friends. Like above it I think because what we like people forget, before you get in a relationship, usually like you're friends first. So just because we didn't work out on an intimate level doesn't mean that we should lose out on a friendship because mm. we're really good friends. Makes Fair enough. But no. Um, pff, honestly, I don't care. You know, whether you're friends with your ex or not. Nah. As long as you're with me, that's what I'm at. Mm -hmm. so. Nah, bro. Nah. You feel me? Your exes, you're not friends with your exes. You know what I mean? And if you are, I got to have full understanding on that. You know what I mean? It got to be like a real situation because, listen, once you have emotions, with, yeah, we were friends at one point, but then we had emotions and, like, feelings for each other. Like, you, y'all saw each other in a different light, like, to the point where, like, you, like, this person was able to, like, ignite a fire in you, like, bring something out of you. I don't know. You don't be friends. Like, you know what I mean? Nah. Un unless it's, like, years down the line. I don't know. Even then, no. Like, I'm good. And I'm very confident in myself, but the whole exes being friends while you have a new man, to me, that's just disrespectful. That is just disrespectful in all life. Now, if you're single, yeah, be friends with your exes. Like, me, I can do that, like, while I'm single. You feel me? But if I'm in a relationship, I'm not going to be friends with my exes and then my girl asks, like, hey, who who's that? Oh, yeah, you know, it's just my ex two exes ago. What? She don't look at me like I'm crazy. I don't know why you said no, but if I told you my body count was over 100, you wouldn't be happy. Okay, it would bother me a little. Hold on, last thing. Hold on, I'm going to rewind this. I'm sorry, I keep stopping it. And when I say friends, I mean, like, there's no hangouts or meetups, like one-on-one -on -one meetups and link-ups. I don't mean, like, when you see them, you got to curse them out, or, like, when you see them, you can't speak, or, like, if you're in a group setting, you know, and they're around, 
there's still a friend in the room, you know. But I mean, like, the one-on-one, on the phone, like, on the phone, texting throughout the day type of friends. Like, that's what I mean. Like, nah, that's inappropriate. I mean, no one-on-ones and stuff like that. Like, stuff like that is crazy. I don't know why you said no, but if I told you my body count was over 100, you wouldn't be happy. Okay, it would bother me a little, but it's not going to be an issue. Okay, mm-hmm. but, so, but you do care. Yeah. So to a little, No, it's only a small amount, because I'm not one of those people where it's like, no, it's a red flag for me. It would make me question. The answer is yes, clearly. No. I get what you mean, though. Exactly. But, but the answer so is not mean... no, though. I get, like, I get what you're saying, but the answer is not no. All right, yes then. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, like, like you said, it, it, it can't be extreme. It can't be too yeah. much. But personally, it's not something that will really bother me because um, everyone has their past at the end of the day. Plus, a lot of people lie about their body count anyway. So whether you tell me it's two or 100, I will never know what it is for real. So it will never really get in the way of me liking someone or being with someone. So I don't really think it's a big deal. But if I do find out that it's, you know, it's over 100 or whatever, of course I'm going to yeah. care. It's, it's normal, isn't it? Right. Not my girl. Never. My, my girl, Stephen the Bear Man. Forget about it. It's not possible. <laughs> it's the main reason why I'm a family person is because I don't really have a lot of family around me, but I do have a family that do depend on me, even though they're not all around me. I didn't come from a wealthy background. I came from a poor background. The makings that I've made, the income that I've made, I feel like the only way I can give back is to give to my family. And every time I do, it, just, it makes me happy, genuinely. Mm, That's all that matters to me, if you get what I mean, like my family, my loved ones. Yeah. Everything else is just whatever happens, happens in it. Do you get it? So That's why I'm so heavy on the family business and so on and so forth. So you're a provider? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. Yeah. Smooth brother. That boy is smooth. I've never cheated. And not that I was making an assumption, but I'm quite surprised. Really? Yeah. I think you cheated, though. No. Listen, from the, the eye contact she's giving me, she's cheated. Like, I can do really tell. Like, Yo, it cheated, at least once. Crazy. Maybe not what? physically, but I, f- I feel like you've cheated. Um, no. Like, fair enough. I mean, this is another one of the questions where you never know the actual answer. What? Right, I'm fully really right, giving right. it to you. Well, you know, I don't know the people you've dated. But why'd I cheat? Why would like, I just cheat? leave. Just leave. No one's ever going to come here and tell you they've cheated. You get Regardless yeah. if they have or not. A few have. Really? Mm-hmm. I, well, I've never cheated anyways. Big up to them, innit? I've never really felt the reason to cheat. Like you said, just leave. And I'm very straightforward. Like, if I like you, if I like you, if I'm starting to feel a certain type of way, I'll tell you. And I feel like to go ahead and cheat, you're already out of love from the jump. From when you even think about doing it, you're already out of love. Mm. And I feel like from when you're out of love, you must have had some conversations before that. If not, then, do you yeah. know what I mean? That's when it's just when it's not correct. Would you stay with a woman that cheated? I mean, so easy to say no. I can't but I feel like if shit really hit the fan and it depends on the level like for example if she was a woman of my kids especially if i was married and we had we have businesses together so on and so forth do you know what i mean then i can start saying eh, yeah, probably yeah. yes but yeah. as of right now if you know yeah. hell no like go away there's so many other fishes in the sea yeah, yeah if you got a family with somebody it might be a little would you ever sleep with a friend's ex um no no i don't think i would personally me and my friends are like we're brothers in it it depends what kind of friend though, because you know sometimes you just make quick friends that you don't really give a toss about. But not like my close yeah. brothers, yeah, no, nothing like that. Would you? I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I would, if it was like my girl, no way. But like you said, if it's just someone that we've met in a club yeah. and we've decided we're friends. As women, like, we kind of do this cock thing with each other where we'll make friends with you in the toilets, like in the club. And blah, 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 blah. That's, that's my ex-boyfriend. And then because you've just met her and she seems like a nice person, you kind of feel really bad talking to the guy that's chatting you up and then you're just like, oh, I'm sorry. Do you go club him? No, I'm not in that avenue. I really don't care about that. Um, time consuming, money consuming. Like I said, there's always an outcome to everything in life. Guys that go clubbing, go clubbing to spend money, impress women, take them home and have sex. Yeah, to do the mission anyways. The um, mission. Get, yeah. Not always. I don't really understand because I don't, I don't think every girl goes clubbing for the exact same mission. No, like, do you not just go out to... See, what's so smooth, like, this eye is so, like, boom. I'm sorry I keep cutting this off, but there's, there's a lot in this. The way my man played it was was player. I mean, and this is some of the high eye player. I'm not going to lie. He started it out so controversial and, like, playful and, like, like, he just started out differently to how he's ending it. Now, I mean, he's showing, like, a more serious side that I actually do think first. I am a man of morals, you know, and stuff like that or whatever. Like, instead of, like, I think in the beginning he wasn't as comfortable, so he was kind of just saying whatever. 
and you can tell the the, the switch. You know what I mean? To where now he's comfortable, he's like, he's just flowing like that. You know what I mean? That's the point you want to be at in the beginning. But it's hard to be like that in the beginning because you got to catch a vibe. You got to peep her vibe, see how she coming. You know what I mean? But once he caught the vibe and he, he choked or whatever, he knew he was in his bag, now I'm not saying he's just letting it flow. To have a good time with your mates. Yeah, Play. but it doesn't have to be clubbing. We can do so many more. Do you know what I mean? There's so many different things, especially me and my friends. We love traveling. That's one thing we love doing. Um, and when you think about the money you're going to spend in the club compared to how much you spend on traveling, it's probably roughly the same anyway. So I will leave the country now. I'm still here. When I am abroad, I will go to a few clubs just to have fun. But my main thing is just exploring and just seeing things I've never seen before. I'm a weirdo. You can say I'm a weirdo, I guess. But because I know a lot of people tend to go clubbing, but that's just not really me, innit? Yeah, it's good. I'll let you buy me a drink in the bar. He's in his bag. He's in his bag. <laughs> What would you do if I wanted to start an OnlyFans? Sell your clothes or to sell... To it's pictures. What kind of pictures? <laughs> it depends how you want to use it. If you want to use it in a very sexual way, that's your choice. That I'm not involved in. That's all you in it, do you get? At that point, you're doing porn. Do you get? Wherever it's on OnlyFans or Pornhub, it's porn. But if you're out here showing your toes and doing lingerie pictures, that's what people do on Instagram anyways. Even if you're there to sell your socks, never. Don't even download the app. Go download the Bible app or go download eBay or something. Go buy us on some jewelry. Like, man, you're not doing that over here. Get about it. What's your thoughts on women? Oh, Yo, his clips is mad funny because it's, it's complete. His clips is like what you say to your homies, and then like what he's saying to her is like what you say on the date. Like, but later on, you're like, wait, what? Nah, ain't no only fans. But nah, I do get what he's saying. Like, if a girl's selling like feet pics or whatever, or if she's just doing a little tasteful things or whatever i mean it's like is it really that big of a deal like you just making money for the same thing you would be posting on instagram i can't really judge you for that like and if i am judging you for that it's because i'm in my ego you know what i mean i'm in my ego and oh but but it's only fans but the thing about your ego is it takes you away from how it makes sense you know what i mean you're just looking at the name only fans you're looking at how it makes you look but in all actuality it's like all she's doing is repurposing respectful pictures on a platform to make money. Now, I mean, so that's not really bad, but, like, to like to what he also said, some of it could be, I don't want to get demonetized, we'll call it prawn. Some of it could be prawn. You know what I mean? So if you doing that type of stuff, nah, I'm not messing with you at all. Like, if you, no, hell no, not doing it. Work in the adult industry. Pick them up because there's times where you need them. <laughs> nah, that's over here. Get about it. What's your thoughts on women that work in the adult industry? Pick them up, because there's times where you need them. <laughs> nah, let's be real. They're, they're doing, it's a service. I may not need them. To them, it's a hustle, but to other people, it's a service. You get a supply and demand business, so I don't really think there's anything wrong with it. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. What about if I didn't want to sleep with you for the first six months? Six months is a bit too long. I'll probably try to <clears throat> show you why you should. I feel like we'll have a, a bit of dry sex sessions anyways. I think the issue is with me, if you don't want to do it. I wouldn't think it's with you. Even though you tell me, oh, I'm just focusing on myself and so on, I, st I still think it was with me. But I'm not going to I'm not gonna force you. I mean, if you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. Like, for me as a woman, I would like to know that there's a man that's willing to wait. I think it says more about the man. OK. Like, that's going to wait around and get to know you on a level instead of just, like, sleep with you straight away. Yeah, but six months is a bit of a stretch, don't you think? No. If a guy's willing to wait two months, that's a long time. T Bro, I've waited. I've never said this on the internet. I've waited. How long was it? I think. I've waited almost a year. I waited 10 months before. Crazy. 10 months. i never forget. Because the whole objective was you know, for marriage or whatever. And, and for me, it was real honorable. And I say crazy because I'm like, I can't believe I did that. I would have never thought I could do it. But it showed me a lot of willpower. Um, and to everybody that asked me, was it worth it? It was worth it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was definitely worth it. But, yeah, I've, I've definitely put that time in before. Taking your eyes, looking up to you. Would I do that again? Probably not. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I don't know. It, it, like I said, it's just for every situation, it takes the right person. I mean, sometimes you could look beyond sex and really just enjoy somebody's, you know, being and just being there with somebody and experiences to the point where you're not even thinking about it too much. Um, did I think about it? I thought about it a whole lot. 
But like I said, it takes a certain person, and being that the objective was to, it was, it was, it was bigger than me, and it would show me like a, a, a side of me that I didn't know whether that I can be. It showed me that I'm actually stronger than I expected. I was willing to put myself up for the challenge, just like anything else I do in life. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I, I've never told anybody that story, especially not online. The two months, I think that's all right to notice that he's willing to wait. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't think you have to go all six months. Plus, if the girl doesn't want to do anything within six months, that's a bit worrying for the guy. Like, no, yeah, you could be working on herself. Tina's working on, on myself business, yeah. Yeah. Let's leave it, yeah. Let's, yeah. let's. Because what you work, what's the job? What is it? What, what, <clears throat> what is it? Girls, stop saying that. It's a lie. It's a joke. You're just finding a reason to not chat to guys. You're not working on yourself. I'm tired of hearing this, man. Please leave it. Just internal work. You're like fine. Leveling up. You're, you're, fine. Fine. you're not working on yourself. You're good. You're looking for love. You're pretty. You have a, you have your business and whatever you got going on. You're fine. What are you working on? Hold the eye So contact. a lot of girls just say that as an excuse and whatever may you got blood. going on. You're fine. What are you working on? So Hold a lot of girls just say that as an excuse. Down. I'm working on myself. No, you're not. You're fine. You're good, man. What would you do if I wanted to involve other people in our sex life? The two girls. Could be. Then you know, let's get cracking. Could you handle two women? Um, yeah, but not the first round. <laughs> what if I was in a gang? <laughs> Who are you killing? Who are you shooting? <laughs> Why can't you take me serious? Because what gang are you in? Let's imagine you was in the gang. Weird question. I don't know, I can't deal with it because I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a GM myself, I'm not a gang member. Gang life. From when me, I ain't even about that. Why are you about that? Listen, if you're on that, leave me out of it. I'm not involved. I'm not about that life at all. Do you get like I'm really, really away from that life. I like peace, yeah. harmony. I don't Thank want to be me. looking at my back I'm when I'm, you know. So I can't. No, it can't work. How about if I was in the gang? No, I'm not about that life. But I feel, I feel like girls love that. No. When you're a teenager, you think it's cool. Yeah. But when you get older. But then as you get older, you realise yeah. it's not about that life. It's about a good man with good morals and st stability. Mm. Not saying these men aren't lifestyle that I'm not really interested in. But you do want a guy that can put you in a place. I want to be put in my place. Don't you think that's an element of, of a bad man though? Like, no. Not, mm. not physically a bad person. No, a, a, really, a really good hardworking man that has a legit job can easily put me in my own place. Right. This is going so great. So you had a good date? Yeah, I have actually. Yeah. Would you say I'm the best date you've been on? No. Has any other guys choked you? No. Why did you let me choke you? Yeah, I wanted to see. That kind of gave me a bit of a green light. Yeah. What do you mean? I don't know, I just feel like that's a bit wild of you. Like, yeah, I wanted, wanted to try it. How do you think you've done on the date? I think I've done all right. I feel like I got to know you a bit more. I feel like you're not as confident as I thought you were, but you are, no, no, not in a, not in a negative way. I thought you was going to be very, um, like, onto me. But you're, you're cute, like, you're, you're innocent and, do you know what I mean? You give a bit of shy vibes, which is cute. And, I'm, you know, I'm happy I made you laugh a few times and smile or whatever. What do you rate yourself? out of 10 on this date? I'll give myself an 8, I'm humble. 8 is humble, I feel yeah. like 8 is really high. 10 is really high, I feel like I made you laugh, I feel like we had an interesting chat. You know, we touched on the sex part. 10, I think 8 is, eight is alright. Oh my god, the date actually went really well. Yeah. You know what? I actually enjoyed myself. I didn't think I was going to enjoy myself. Um, it was purely vibes. Listen, the beginning was a no-go, yeah. I was not feeling it. So that's a very cool. pretty girl. She let me choke her, which is obviously going to lead to more. Don't worry, guys, I'll let you guys know. Yo, once he got comfortable, he was in his bag. It was after the physical... Yo, that's exactly what I said. After that physical touch... She sparked it, though. Like, you cannot just say, can I choke you? No. Like, he made her do something to him that made her comfortable enough to, like... And then he didn't, like, drag it, like, all right, let me smack you now. Like, all right, let me touch you now. Nah, he just, all right, you know, I, okay. I can handle a woman touching me without me acting just crazy. You know what I mean? Without me acting like I can't, I can't handle myself. You know, so now she's like, all right, well, now, now I'm going to invite you into my space. You can touch me. You know what I mean? And once he saw that, he knew he was in his back. And that's why the whole thing flipped. Because there's no more I got to be playful. There's no more confusion on what this is going to be. I'm in my bag. I, I know where I stand. You know what I mean? Like, I know you, you, you want to be my man? I am your man. Fuck is you talking about? Like that was that was smooth. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just waiting for you to. I'm just letting you process it. I love that. That 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 response right there was so player. What?
I'm just waiting for you to process it. It's crazy. So I ain't gonna wait. I'm stealing that. Stealing. Yeah, <laughs> I like him. It could be the wine, though. Lord knows what would have happened if she finished her wine. No, he handled it well. Yeah. Stayed calm and collected. There was no grilling there, man. There was probably a microwave, but there was, no, uh, there was no grilling. There was nothing being grilled. I would see him again. Would you see her again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it would never be anything serious, though. That's for real. I'll definitely see her again. Yeah, he's attractive, but there was a lot of red flags in the beginning. Knowing how she is, probably give me a seven or six. If she gives me anything lower than a six, sorry, we're scrapping. I'm going to give him a 6.8. 6.8, damn. I'm going to give him that because I feel like I'm attracted to him, but you need to have a little bit more for me to actually give you a good rating. you got to ask more questions. What? I mean, I'm still looking. I feel like my son went in. All right, hold up. Let's, let's make this a little bit bigger real quick. Hold up. Y'all yeah, know I'm a little new to this OBS thing. Um, Y'all, that was dope, man. That was dope. Honestly, Um, I feel like... Dude, I mean, he did his thing. You could tell in the beginning his nervousness was getting the best of him. But that just goes to show if you go into it, like, a little bit more comfortable, like, or you just find a way to be a little bit more sure of yourself, it'll flow better. But, I mean, he played it good because he waited until she got comfortable. He waited until, you know, there was a vibe before he just started, you know, overly exerting himself with, you know, whatever. You know, and then it showed like a playful side and it also showed that he had a serious side. So I think that's why the date went so well. And it's always best to start off playful because it like it heightens, you know, like it makes it more fun. You never want to sit there and just just give somebody a whole life story just straight off rip. Because now it feels like an interview. You know what I mean, it feels like we're sitting here on a job interview. When you play around with it a little bit, it's, it's unexpected, it's witty, so it's a little bit more fun. You know what I mean, and then like to to back it up with a, with some seriousness. Those are the those are the best people to talk about to talk to when you could be serious, but you could be goofy, and you never know when one of the others gonna come out. You know what I mean, women love that. But hey man, it's your boy Todd Boogie. <coughs> man, we ain't some baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. Them shit was so good, man. It was good. I'm not lying. I had to go brush on my teeth, all right? And since was, uh. Anyways, hey, man, it's your boy, Todd Boogie. Until the next video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what else y'all want me to uh, react to and all that good stuff. Hey, man, it's your boy, Todd Boogie. Until next time, out of here, man. Peace.